Oh God, yeah. I I I feel sometimes I really could still play, but then you know, uh, old, old father time catch up with me, and then I I, I see my kids out there, Jalen and, and and TJ and Madison, and and, and those kids are it, it's a handful just to teach them what I know. You know, it, it's, it's as far as my my youngest son, Jalen, uh, who's eight, and he, you know he's gonna be a big. I, I tell Jalen he's gonna be the bigger of them of them all, and. Um, you know, he, he, he likes to play football, and it's, it's teaching him how to use his hands and how to use his, you know, his, his peripheral visions and, and, and which foot go where and, you know, what, what makes a, a hard man to move, you know, where do your hands go on every play. You know, because in, in, you teach a kid professional technique right now, just imagine how, how well that takes him in, in the next, you know, in the next years. Yeah, TJ, um, TJ, TJ will set a different standard. Um, he's been trained. Uh, he, he, uh, he grew up in, uh, was born in Canada, born in Edmonton, uh, where I played at Eskimos, uh, Edmonton Eskimos. Uh, he's a locker room kid, locker room baby. He watched that play professional ball and practice on a daily basis. He had to come to the field. We got pictures of TJ and I when he was a little kid. Now you see him at 11 years old, 205 pounds, and um, size 11 and a half shoe, <laughs> my God. Uh, it, it's a different sight. But uh, he, he, um, he, he plays football, um, doesn't want to block, don't want to run the ball, don't want to, you know, all he, all he wants to do is play nose guard. <laughs> this year we moved him uh, from, from a four technique, five technique out on a tackle to more like a, a, a Mount Cody. He thrived. That's what we pay him every game. So he's 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 a little Mount Cody, but uh, he's a runner. He's 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 one of the fastest kids on his team. Uh, I, I I'm in Shelby County. Uh, I, I I coach uh, coach little league football. I coach little league baseball. I uh, I do a um, Thomas Ram football camp. Um, I, I'm in the pharmaceuticals. We. We, we ship mail order drugs uh, around the world, but uh, uh, my, my, my passion, my life is, uh, you know, my, my wife and kids. Uh, every day is almost like uh, a game day, <laughs> so to say. I mean, six o'clock in the morning, getting them out to school, uh, uh, getting ready for baseball that afternoon or either football that afternoon or or basketball that afternoon. Uh, we play football, basketball, and baseball uh, all year round. Uh, we, we, we like doing that because it keeps our kids motivated and it, it keeps them exercising. And um, uh, it, we just have a neat little five group family there. <laughs> what, uh, what Alabama has always had is a stable full of kids that are ready to play football at a minute's notice. Coach Saban is a guy who can direct, direct a, a program in a way that we want to go. I mean, national championships is, is what we step on the field for. I mean, we step on the field to take, take the field from everybody who we play against to be national championships. That's the only reason why you come to Alabama. If you ain't got it in your heart to be a national champion, you're not going to pay the price the way we want you to pay the price. So Nick Saban has that about him every day, every time he steps on the field. I don't know who it ends it out throughout the day, but when he's on that field, and I, when I see him on the press conferences and out there directing those kids in the way that they're supposed to go, a coach is a hands-on coach on and off the field. I don't know how he's off the field, but I see us going back to where we need to be, and that's the dominance. Man, uh, it, it brings tears to your eyes when you, when you think about it. Guys that are playing right now don't think about it like I – like I do now, or, or other players who think about, you know, the, just to have had the privilege to step on that field and, and say that you, you're out there playing with people like Saran and, 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 and Bobby and, 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 and you know, uh, Lamont Russell and Willie Wide, just people that have just stood up and been, you know, hard-nosed people, true and honest guys coming up through the ranks. And to know that you played on that field with those guys, it, it's a privilege to know that you're coming behind Paul Bell Bryant, one of the best coaches of, ever stepped on the field and you're out there one of his boys, you know, you, you're one of the better boys. So uh, you, you can't get any better than that. I don't, I don't care what they say, up the road, down the road, wherever you want to be. 
you know you can never duplicate in alabama.